Thousands brave typical Irish weather to welcome Pope Francis, a chance for the faithful to worship with the head of their church. But earlier, he'd made yet another apology for the crimes of its priests and bishops. This open wound challenges us to be firm and decisive in the pursuit of truth and justice. I beg the Lord's forgiveness for these sins and for the scandal and betrayal felt by so many others in God's family. The abuse scandal has dogged this visit and the Pope has been under increasing pressure to turn words into action. In Ireland there are thousands of victims, not only of sexual abuse but also of the exploitation of child labour and the separation of babies from single mothers in church-run homes. On Saturday, Paul Redmond, a victim of such a home, was one of eight people to meet the Pope in private. We're looking for unqualified, wholehearted apologies. Um, and certainly we got one today from the Pope, but whether that will translate into a huge official apology from the church uh, is another matter. But it's whether that translates into actual actions, that's what really matters to us. The weather caught the mood. The crowds came, but were nowhere near as big as during the last Pope's visit in 1979. The scandal has turned many away from the church for good, and not all are convinced by the apologies. Well, we are disgusted and ashamed, and I, I feel so sorry for the faithful of the remainder of the Catholic Church, which are very few, I would believe, because people now have their faith, maybe in God's still, but certainly not in the Catholic Church. And the revelations continue. In the US, the scale of institutionalized abuse in Pennsylvania has just become clear. And on Sunday, a senior Vatican official criticized the Pope for failing to act over a US cardinal forced to resign in July. Bishop Carlo Viano says he told Pope Francis about Cardinal Theodore McCarrick's abuse five years ago, but nothing was done. He says Vatican insiders are still engaged in cover-up. As Pope Francis returns to Rome, he will be aware faith in his church has been damaged. It's not clear his apologies and calls for forgiveness are enough to persuade everyone that under his leadership, the justice they demand will be delivered. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World. Well, as the Pope spoke in Dublin, protesters gathered to express their disappointment with the way the abuse scandal has been handled. Thousands of demonstrators joined survivors, their families and supporters at an event elsewhere in the city. They described the Pope's apology as hollow and said more needs to be done. I think the apologies don't really go far enough and there needs to be accountability. People need to answer questions, they need to stand up responsible for their actions and they need to be um, people need to be um, accountable for what, what's happened to you.